It also makes sense why they would flourish because they had so much resources because it was like so green and fertile. You have to go back to time periods pre-4000 BC when the Sahara was a savanna. It was grasslands with lake basins and river systems and it had a lot more rain. It was much more verdant and green. The Giza Plateau would have been green. Which and makes it was sense a, that that's why they would settle there in the first place. Why you, when I mean, they didn't build in a desert. It also makes sense why they would flourish because they had so much resources because it was like so green and fertile. It, there was a study done that showed that during the African humid period, so this period of time before the desert, desertification of, of Egypt, the Sahara becoming a desert, when it was green and there was more consistent rainfall. There was obviously a lot more water in the Nile, as we call it, and it had different channels. One of the things they discovered was that there was a branch of the, the river Nile, and it's called the Aramat branch. And it was in places up to a kilometer, most of a mile wide, so it was quite an extensive branch, but it turns out that all of these valley temples on all of these pyramid sites from Dashur and Saqqara, Abu Sir, Abu Ghraib, Giza, all of those valley temples were built on the shores of this extinct branch of the Nile.